We will call the personnel meeting to order. Start at the top of the agenda, Danielle. Uh, first of all, no, sorry, accept the minutes from the August 11th meeting. Motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, carried. Okay. We'll start off with the right at the top of the list. Yep, ready? Okay. I do have some late additions that were not on the agenda, um, but first I'll start with the one that is on the agenda. Um, the pavement management intern. Um, this is due to a resignation. Okay. Discussion? All in favor? All right. Opposed, carried. There, Sue. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the next one that wasn't, wasn't on the agenda is a um, backfill for a highway worker three. And this ends up being a cascade effect for the one that is actually on the agenda for highway worker two. So if we want to do those together, the highway three backfill with the highway two, and then we would have to backfill that as well. So we have a motion and a second. Second. Okay. Discussion? No change in the staffing pattern. We're just filling the positions that are open. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Closed. Carry. Okay. And then we do have a straight back fill of a highway worker two due to a resignation. Right. So Second. Discussion? <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. Carry. Okay. Okay, so for personnel, I'm asking for actually three backfills of exam proctors. Um, this is due to resignations to the positions. Um, in September, we usually send a letter out to our exam proctors to see if they're still on board with us for the... Proctoring civil service exam. Yes. So we actually received two resignations due to that, um, but we do have an additional that we want to fill as well. So I have three. Okay. Moved by Jay, seconded by Dave. The discussion, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Public defender. Public defender has a straight back fit of a legal assistant due to a transfer within the county. So moved. Second. Dave and Darrell. Any questions on that? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep, we have the sewer district um, administrative assistant to the executive director, uh, straight back then due to a resignation. Yeah, Dave. Okay. Second. Daryl J. Any questions? You're lucky, Jason. No questions. We're good. All in favor? Aye. Opposed, Carrie. Okay. Um, social social services, I do have two caseworker backfills um, that we could do together, um, and they are both due to resignations. Right, they're the exact same thing, they're just two positions that are just a little different. Uh, the salary part. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they're all, they would start back at base. They, 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 right, they start back at the same thing, gotcha. We'll do this together, let's do them together. You okay with moving with the other okay. 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 a motion? Second. Aye. Two case worker backfills. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Closed. Carried. All right. Social service examiner. So I'd like to actually do this is another cascade effect. Um, we have a senior social services examiner backfill um, due to an appointment within the department. And then we would have to backfill that with a social services examiner which leads us to another backfill of that position. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Dave? All second. Daryl? All right. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, carry. Okay. It's pretty straightforward this one. Okay. Nice. Next. We have our other business um, moved from government ops was a staffing change request the secretary to the county attorney from 35 hours to 40 hours and this would be a staffing pattern change as well to move that to 40. so moved 
Yep, second then. Got a motion and a second. So yeah, this would have to go to, to go straight from here to the board and that's, that's go to finance. I believe I saw it on the finance. Uh, it's on the finance. Right. I'm trying to do the grand tour. I'm trying to get my. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 if I the you want to you want to send the audit between finance <laughs> and board next. <laughs> okay. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carry. Well, that's all that I have. Wow. Okay. No others? No other others? No other others. Okay. Well, that's pretty straight. Yeah. Uh, any other business questions for the personnel committee today? We're adjourned. Do we have a Quorum of finance to at least do Jason. <laughs> you can do that one item that would Jason, right up front. So okay. you have to stay around with me, So we can start there. Nice to meet everyone. <laughs> 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 we heard that, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> Discussion on this. Yeah. Even though there is only one bidder, is this bid in actual actual realm of being okay? I mean, it's yes, it's my recommendation to the committee and recommendation by the professional engineer that we hired to consult with Lavelle Engineer. Unfortunately, we only receive one bid, but it is what it is. From the material, time, labor, and materials. Changes every day. You know. Was the project not, just not big enough for other bidders? Well, you know, it's a time of bid, right? Yeah. Seasonal. When you're bidding it, you bid it, and uh, we issued it on August 11th. Yeah. The responses yeah. were due September, so everyone's busy. Right? Yeah. So, but it has to be done before winter, yep. before the first year, because that's just a temporary bypass. Right. The EC will no longer allow that. Yep. More questions? Uh, Does everybody say hi? Aye. Aye. Opposed? There, approved. Thank We're good, Jason. Thank, Thank you. you. Sticking around a little bit. Have a good morning. <laughs> okay, so the first thing up is approved energy contracts. So, you know what we have with that? If 
if we had got an update this morning or just last night. I haven't got an update. So, to bring you up to date on what actually happened last time we were here, we approved uh, a certain amount of uh, time, 27 months, at a certain price. And that day, the market went crazy and they wouldn't lock it in. You have to, everybody has to be able to sign at a certain number. Uh, since then, the prices went nuts. Um, so, today, we're trying to go with the newest information. So I don't know if we need a range. I don't know exactly what we're going to need. Uh, yeah, she was going to send a sheet. I just got it electronically. Okay. Right. Are we talking electricity, natural gas? Electricity. That might be a good intelligent. It might be a good uh, potentially intelligent. I, 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 I mentioned to Sue yesterday about another machine, but maybe she just got the information. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So that no, I asked for that yesterday, and I think she probably just got the numbers, so I have that time to put it together. So we'll yeah, yeah, Deb, uh, Brian, uh, just let you know I I got it on my email right now. It just popped up. So I got it. Very good. So we'll move on to real property and we'll come back to that. So what? She wants us to 1138 a piece of property. Yes, there's a piece of property in the town of Argyle that's um, I don't know, the link with list. Um, it does have some environmental issues, multiple environmental issues. Um, they were supposed to start cleaning it up. They never did. And I went over there the other day for a little road trip to check it out. And it's worse than it was before. They have a camper trail sitting in the driveway. There's a squatter there now, right? Is it a squat? I don't, yeah, it's not the owner. The owner is not in the area. Uh, we keep having taxes accrue on this property. And um, I don't I would like to have that taken off the tax roll. Do the real property tax on 1138 um, until we can come to some conclusion as to what can be done this property. Make sure you get the right resolution there. It's, 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 it's friendly neighborhood forgot the right so we're do it today so you'll get it back Resolution double A. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, okay. they, they owe 43000 in taxes, 15000 worth of interest, so right on what we uh, if we 1138 this, that doesn't prevent us from still maybe cleaning it up because we have that. We still have that fund that yeah. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yep. Would that be a candidate for that or? No? Uh, I don't believe so. No, we've had DEC in there a few times, and and some cleanup was started by an owner's relative type thing, and then they just it's just a mess again. And now they've got more. They've got tires and. Stuff going into a creek that runs through the path. So it's, it could be it could be a candidate. Is it trash or is there something in the ground? It's in the it's in the ground at this point now. There's um, it's a junkyard. Um, somebody was bringing in uh, cars and trucks. So la last time I went there, um, not this past time, but a, a prior time, not the last time, but prior time, there was like a, a dump truck upside down in the driveway. I mean, it's just a it's just a mess. You think Yes, they are definitely, definitely, yes. yes. So, one moment. Move it, Dave. Second. If this is a potential cleanup, how would we know, look at it in the future, or does it just kind of disappear off the Radar. Is there a phase one? Been no, phase one has not been so done on this. This would no. have to be a consultant in less money. Yeah. Yep. And right. Well, we'd have to take ownership yeah. to do a phase one because we don't even own it. We don't want to own it. We don't want to put it in our title. Um, how big possibly. the lot is? Well, I just didn't say that. Right. Like, um, how big the lot? It's not a, it's not it's, a real desirable piece of property. Yeah. Um, 10.2 acres. If, if we fixed it all up, we wouldn't. It's 12 be able acres. To so it's 10.2 in here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Yep. 
Yeah. The survey said 12, it's 10.2 yeah, acres, it's, sorry. It's right beside the open infill and it's a, a mm -hmm. crappy entrance to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like I said, there is some now there is some fluids in the in the creek, uh, possibly the dust. But Dana does make a good point. Where do we so every time we have 1138, when does it fall off? It doesn't fall off the edge of the earth. It's still there. It's, it's still, still there. there. So it's what do we, you know, what's our end game? And we, we need to come up with an end game. It's all this stuff. Whatever it is. Can't fix that today, but we need to. That needs to go to some committee. If you're going to have further discussions, I would recommend that 1138. Well, these discussions are going to take a lot more time than but the, reason, the reason the reason in front of you today is we mm -hmm. keep pulling it from the auction yes. so that the tax liability just continues to grow and grow and grow and that's not it's not helping anybody but what we're deciding that you don't want it to grow any bigger either but i'm saying really if you're good. going to entertain some kind of intervention don't let it 38 it now there's no immediate fire burning that you have right. to do it if you want to have further discussions about this property table this or don't pass it or I just want to make sure you have all your options. If you want to further discuss this property, don't take action today. And you just won't take it. We still won't take it. Still won't. We won't. My question more is more of a generic one. What happens to these properties? Do we ever have an inventory once a year of these properties to consider cleaning up ourselves, or did they just a really plump property we bought? So if we're accumulating is the worst part. The list needs must be getting longer if we never put them back. So right. that's why I think you make a If it's a plum property, then maybe right. we would do that. But if it's not, it's not a very desirable property. And I do have a list of all of them. I can bring that to the house if you'd like in the future. Well, I think during this discussion of 1138, we would call a property is a desirable property. Right. That conversation would happen. So maybe. But where I would go further with that thing is everyone we've ever done, we've never. Done anything with so the list keeps getting longer and longer. And what percentage no, of that? That's not true. We have, we have, we, we well, have how many? We've had several successes. The White Hall property right. was the most recent one. Yeah. The Martell property in White Hall was we yeah. put that back on the roll. There's successful business operating. Right. There. There's, there's a few, right? But so, the list must be getting bigger. It's not that large of a it's list. No, it's only a few. Yeah. And so maybe that's right. what we need to do is right. update that list once a year. That this is how big the list is. You can get it anytime you want. We, yeah, Laura and I have that yeah, information anytime you need it. How many of those properties have been on? We just started that fund for going back to go back and revisit some of those properties to see if well, that's what Dana said. That's what we're going to talk about one, but talk about it all. Yep. Well, we would take some proceeds from the tag sale for this fund, but we haven't had that in a few years. So does anybody know what kind of money we have in that? Yeah. We remember that during the budget process about three or four years ago, you guys stopped. Taking the money from the tax. Yeah, because we had a lot in the, we already had the fund was made. I can say we had around 300. Because we didn't spend much of it to do anything. Yeah. But we haven't we haven't added to it in probably five years. But I'll get the numbers. The last time we spent money was in the White Hall project. We didn't really spend the money, but we put it back on the rolls successfully. And we had a property that we cleaned up that we put back. Uh, the roles were sold that we have cleaned up. No, yes, we, we have this money, this fund. We have not used. We have not used this fund. Well, that's, that's why I said that once a year we're going to have to come up with the list and see if there's something. Yeah, we have been reviewing the properties. Uh, I think it's just our right. working group. Look over. <laughs> 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 oh, Dana! Oh, oh, I can bring it to government now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. does that mean we're going to wait on eleven thirty eight? Is that Laura says, right, and that's what I'm getting because even though our decision might be two or three years of lay, why like keep that? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's volunteer. I think that in any event, if you know, and I think Nate is right, we'll be back looking at these things and see if there's someone we want to work on. So, this is not going to be one of them. Okay. <laughs> I, I promise this will not be one of the ones we'll spend more. If it's next to the land, they were issued over next. 35 tickets from DEC. 301,000. Yeah, there's a bunch of DEC. Yeah. We're working on it. I mean, it's an active file that I'm working on with DEC and, and everything. So the question is, is DEC can walk in there and make them clean it up? So they can force it clean up? How do you force it? How do you force it? Yeah, how do you? They've written tickets. Well, no, no, stone is not I don't know where that's. Yeah, but the issue is stuff's going to go on. It'll get cleaned up when the 
county takes possession of it and they can get into our pocket. That's one that was <laughs> cleaned up. So I would recommend 1138 units for right now. Okay. We, have, we have a motion to Dean and second it. Sure. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Carried. Oh, Desi, you don't have the resolution. You will have a second. I want to get Very good. And so then you have $6,000 in supplies. Yep. So your next one. Uh, no, my next one was the new legislation, which I did mention in government ops with the increase uh, income levels for senior citizens and disabled with limited incomes. Right now, the county level is um, starts at twenty four thousand or bottoms at twenty four thousand, goes up to thirty two four, thirty two thousand four hundred. Uh, the state wants to go up to, or the state is allowing you now to go up to fifty eight thousand four hundred. I'm not recommending we go to the max, but I, what I am recommending is every two years I usually bring this before you guys to say what do you want to do, what do you want to do. Um, what we're finding with some properties in Washington County is the social security, people's social security benefits have now with their cost of cost of living increase has put them right at our level or a little above. So we've had some people that you know are not able to receive their agent exemptions based on the county level. Um, I'd like to run some numbers for you guys if if that's okay and bring it back and show you what the impact would be if we went up the 2000 like we normally, I've done every two years in the past pre-COVID uh, just to see what those numbers are. But I'm also asking everybody to check their town numbers and I do have copies here if anybody wants them. And they're also on our county website. Um, what your town is at, your town, you should try to get your town to be at least at the county level if possible. Uh, some of them are, are not there, some of them are. Uh, so I'll pass these around and you guys can take a look at them. And like I said, a lot of them are around the county. They're all listed on the, that is listed on the county website. So if you're not in the meeting and you want to get a copy, you can, you can download that. Uh, also, that includes the exemptions for persons with disability and limited income. So this, <clears throat> excuse me, this would be somebody that's not 65 yet, but maybe they're disabled and their household income. Um, right now, the county level is the 32.4. I have some towns that don't even participate this at the town level, and that would be Greenwich, Granville, Jackson, Putnam, Salem, and Whitehall. You may want to look at doing this in your town and bringing it up to the county level. If not, um, you know, so that's those towns have no exemption for... Right there, disabled and limited income. Right. right. Maybe the county. Well, they get, it, they get it at the county level. So if somebody... The county, yeah. yeah, out the county, the county, but not, not the town line of their town tax, though. So. What's the advantage to that? Why are we recommending that they come up to our level? Is there an advantage for the town to come to our level, or is it just a facility? There's no advantage for them to come to our level. It's advantage for their taxpayers. Right. Right. Oh. So maybe the county is saying you know, right. it's a cost, right. It's a cost shift. Right. Take a look at it. And the, the shift is makes it I'm, easier for your disabled and your elderly to keep living in your town. Some towns yeah. were above the county before the county caught up to the county. Yep. That's true. And, and like I said, we are seeing this year that there were some people that did lose their agent exemption because of their social security, where the cost of living has now caught up to what our agent exemption is. So just FYI, we're getting phone calls on that. Um, so just wanted to put everybody in the There are others that do Others, veterans exemptions. There's other exemptions the, the, the county the, decides yeah. on the level. Right. They're all different. They're all different. Yes. Yeah. Here. And you may not have hardly any people in your town that are disabled with limited income that have an income that low. Um, Again, they are listed on the county website on our page, so take a look at them and and see uh, see where. You're at. <laughs> so this is nothing we're going to act on nothing. today. We're just going to have a discussion and after we review. I can't believe you. Laura, would you explain the percentage for the county? Laura, would you explain the percentage after each one of these for counties that like 24 base, but you only get an exception on half of the income? 
What is the 50% to 5% mean? So if their income is less than um, 20, can I just have that one back there? So if their income is less than $24,000 for their total household income, then they can get up to 50% off their assessed valuation exemption for county purpose. And then as you go look down at the towns and the schools, the numbers vary, okay? So if, they, if their total household income is less than 32.4, they can get 5% exemption off their assessed value off their tax. So the only thing that comes down is the assessed value, not the taxes, but is it the same? The assessed value comes down, so the tax value comes down. down by eight yes. to five percent. Yep. Okay. Yep. And these are in five percent increments from five to fifty, depending on it's like eight hundred and ninety nine dollars. It changes every step, um, so it can be confusing that part of it. But we show you the bare. A lot of people now, it seems like our total household income, their social security is a little bit more than thirty two thousand. I had one um, the other day in. Where they were, they had less than, um, they had less than 30, they had 32,484. So it just put them over. We're, and we're finding quite a few that are right at that level. So I have a question. I know the says that Social Security is going to go substantially in January, 7, 8, 9 percent. Oh. That number is supposed to come in October. Should we wait for that to review that to see if, see where that puts people? Because that we may change by two thousand, it goes up eight nine percent. Right. The social security we just compounded the compounded the issue. Right. Well, uh, we can look at that and see what the actual change is in the long run. Yes. I'm not opposed to that, but you need an understanding, and, and maybe you have it of how that social security check works. As it gets bigger, your amount paid to Medicaid gets bigger. So last year was up seven percent. Some people got like a ten dollar increase. It really didn't help that thing because the Medicaid went so up yeah. so high, and it took away food stamp benefits too. Yeah. So almost got a three dollar decrease. Yes. So <laughs> it's it sounds like a heck of an increase when they give you the percentage, but what they actually got in their pocket can be nil. Yeah. Yeah. Those numbers should be on the floor. So now we're on to resolution A. So you're going to see these a lot, a lot of different departments where office supplies and this envelope, Dallas even reiterated it. Everything has gone through the roof. Uh, our departments have to order at least three months in advance to make sure they don't run out of paper envelopes because it's that much of a delay. So I need a motion to move $6,000 from contingency to office supplies to. Take care of that, especially for getting tax bills out. We'll be James Griffith, second by Dave O'Brien. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Here. The general fund can do it. Yeah. So not a contingency bill. Right. Okay. okay. Treasurer. Brian. Brian. Thank you. Question. Next question. Um, $6,000. That was. Be a no, unfortunately, that is 35,000 envelopes. And last year at this time, when I ordered the 35,000 envelopes, it was $1,811.25. Okay, but this is six grand. Yep. 200% of that is 4,000. Yeah. Sure. I mean, the numbers are true. The going up at 100%. Right. They would double. Right. Uh, 200% is. For compounded, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. 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 Two thousand to six. And I had to, and I had to order some for school bills, and that pretty much. <laughs> and those are specialized envelopes, and yeah. you got to have them when it's time to send them. Yeah, the weird ones that are open down the bottom. Nope. Those are Those are So you can send them for paperless, Mister Happ, and it won't be. Yes. Uh, I need to feed my brother. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Oh, yes, we can go back to our <laughs> Okay. So is everyone looking at this so before we discuss it? Is that the case? When we discussed this back in August, what, wasn't there four options? Or was it always three options? There was a 15 month, I think. That's what I thought. I thought there was a shorter option too. They probably didn't want to scare you and show you how high that was. Well, maybe that's, maybe that's the best option. What's the highest option? I, I know, know, but maybe that's the best option. Well, I think it's coming to So, we're selling ours to California. So, we're not asked to try to make the resolution, frankly. We don't know the numbers, right? That's today. Oh, we oh, it's yeah. okay. we okay. just got these. That's why they just got printed and sent out. They just came at the minute. And what did we approve in August? We did 39 months or 27 months? No, 27 months. It was 1126. And it's up a whole cent right. on the 26 months. Whole cent, so $32,000 difference. What's that? It's still a $32,000 difference. $33,000 difference from what? From last month. Even though it went up one cent, it's still a thirty-three thousand dollars difference from the last one. Yes, your answer. Your answer is over on is on the top. If you could still get that, that's what the difference would be. But the one you can get now is a two hundred and fifty-two thousand. Right, the one the one that we approved last month that we did not get accepted from them had, is a thirty-three thousand dollars difference now. Right, right. I, right. I, that's what I'm saying. The one we can get, the one we is may, might be able to get. <laughs> well, we yeah, 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 who knows? But the current one is a two hundred fifty two. No, I'm so I'm really confused. If we if we went to the forty nine month term, we'd be paying eleven forty six. They're trying to lock you in longer, Matt. Yeah. I, I get it, but if we had done the twenty seventh month last month, we'd be at eleven. 268. Well, one's a $33,000 difference and one's a $226,000 difference. So that means over the length of the term, it's going to cost that much more? It does look different to me. So that doesn't make your sense. Oh, no, 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 no
Well, our deputy administrator is doing this and it's going to explain this sheet so that we're all. So you notice the options available for term length are different than were previously available because we've moved one month further into our contract. The shortest term option is no longer available also for that same reason. So previously there was a 15 month option. It's no longer available. That is the minimum. Um, per their their bid agreement that they can put out. And if there was, it would be higher than all the other choices. The shorter terms are the highest, as you can see by the numbers. Um, emailing with the electric supply account rep, he has seen a dip. Brian and I have been watching the rates, and we've seen a dip. Um, we agree that he's seeing a dip. We're seeing a dip now. So when we had looked at these rates, maybe like two weeks ago. They were new and penny higher. Yeah. And then we've been looking at them almost daily to watch for some good low, you know, low point. But we obviously we cannot we can't do anything besides what the group agreed on last time, which was a certain rate for a certain term. So if we had seen that rate or something lower, we would have jumped on it, but we weren't, we didn't. It's never gone lower. But this is a dip right now, which is, I think, and if we don't, you know, not to not to put a rush on, but if we don't take this rate, we'll experience the same up and downs, up and downs, but also our contract stewards with this for this fixed price expires in um, October, November is the last meter date. All the meters have different dates, obviously. So at that point, our pricing would switch to market based, whatever it is at that point. So I, I think from all the looking we've done at it, that this is a good, I mean, it's not a wonderful, it's not wonderful. The economy is the way it is. But we gotta, I'll make a motion. We vote for six more. Any discussion? Yeah. So some student asked my question. Maybe I'm being dense here. So look at the bottom. So, you know, I understand it now. I know what you're going to ask. So the, the differences from current, that's our, our budget number, our actual number. That's the difference that's going to be in the budget. That's how much that money is going to be. Annual increase. Right. right. That's going to be the right. annual increase to the budget right there. The bottom is Whatever number we that that there. Let's talk about no, that. What should we talk about? No, each one of these three, whichever oh. one you pick. Take the top. Okay, the top one, that will add $252,921.22 to that budget line. Annually. Okay, okay. okay. Right. Let's right. stop right there. Two months. Okay. Yeah. Annually for two years. Annually for Annually. two years. Yeah. Okay. But if we're going from the current rates of 4.6 cents per kilowatt hour to 12.259 cents, right? It's going to cost us an extra $252,000. Yeah. Yes, because it's almost two and a half times. But just to go back a month, if you look at down at the bottom, if we're going to go from the 4.6 cents that we're currently in, so the two, if we had chosen the 27 month term and gone to 11.268, that would be 220,000. Yeah, so that's 33. Why, why, what's the 33,000? That's yeah, the that's difference between last month, month and this month. month. Yeah, how much more? That's what it comes No, no. The, rate, the, the rate that we could have got last month. Well, <laughs> okay, the rate that I can't understand Ed, even one of you at the time. Okay, the rate that we could have locked in at, yeah, and, and the rate you lock in now at is a difference of thirty two thousand nine ninety two a year. Oh, the, the difference between the yeah. two top rates, yeah, the, the 11 <laughs> 12.259. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna say no. Right. For twenty six twenty seven. If this 252,921, yeah. you took away that 32,000, that's what the rate would have been last month. So last month when we agreed to 27,000, we were agreeing to a $220,000 right. increase on the budget. And it's gone up 32. Not 33,000. No. Right. Right. Now we're now we're increasing that by 33,000. Yes. That's our that's our new number. Again, he's right. It's apples and oranges between the two. Yeah. Okay. It is. Okay. All right. But it was still a fine job. <laughs> I, I misunderstood. We just needed the person to explain it. Yeah, well, he explained it. Or the Argyle situation clears crap. Yeah, that's exactly it. How much more it costs today than it did last? And so, 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 do you know what the budget for 
Based on what we choose today. If, well, if it gets solidified, we don't know by the time we go to sign it. If it's changed, they will not honor it. I know, but. So, yes, that will be what we budget for if that's the one that passes. Which one did you pick, Dan? 26 months. The shortest one. Because if it does dip, which it might, it's, then we'll be able to refresh it soon. Right. I, I, I went, Dana, and that was the whole conversation last time. You know, Dana Hogan and I talked that we probably should work with the 15 months just because we're, we're you know, they're they're trying to lock in right now. They're, 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 there's a reset that they're trying to lock in. And we can stay variable too, don't forget, and just take whatever it is if we really believe that. It's $252,000 per year, not per the length of the contract. No, that's a quarter million dollars per year for two years. So, it can be so, half a million dollars. so to hit a 0% increase, there's a quarter of a million just in electricity without anything else added to this budget. We're going to have a, <laughs> an increase in November and December this year as a result. Yes. An increase of what? Utility uh, costs. Okay. Right, one sixth of that number. Yep. Two months worth. Because you paid the January bill with this year's dollars. No, because it ends in. Our rate is October first, right? It's it ends with the last meter readings that happen in October, November. November. Yeah. yeah, so you got so two months to pay for the new rate. So it's one six of the number. What happened the last time was we, we you voted on a very specific number, and by the time they called and later that day, that number was gone. You want to give them a bit of a range here? Then you can lock in if it's within such and so, or do you want to do your same thing? Mean, we could have the exact same thing happen. You could vote for the, the 26th and we do it the 26th month term at this, and boom, they'll call up and it'll be gone. Okay, so the last time we had it from the night before when the market opened, it changed. Sue says we have the contract just waiting for Sam's signature, so. She thinks we're good where we're at. I spoke to the guy last night, right, the rep last night. He said he thought we should be good for the day, which traditionally right, it has been at least good for one day. And this is yeah. 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 Hey, Brian. Yeah, Bob, good. <coughs> great point. Uh, is the metric we're using for shortest term? So we go with the shortest term, whatever that is. Because it sounds to me like the conversation is we don't want to lock in for a longer period of time. We're hedging a little bit towards having that rate adjust to our favor. So we want the shortest possible contract period we can get. Is that in principle what we're talking yeah. about? And if so, then I recommend we approve, we resolve to approve that and allow the system to make that happen for us. You want it to take whatever the lowest rate is when they come back to us, if it's different than what's here without it basically leaving it open ended. Is that what you're saying? No, the shorter time period. So, the, the, yeah, the shorter, yeah. So the whatever the ter shortest term is, that's the rate because that's that's what my understanding is based on the conversation and that we we're believe, having. Yeah, we believe that this is going to be the locked in rate because they sent it to Denny. But well, if it, that's not the case, we could make that. But this Sam would not be able to sign this until after the third Friday of the month. No, or wait, no, it's out of this committee. So okay. this committee half a million dollars out of this committee. Nope. Well, it's because it's the only way you can lock the rate in. So and remember that when we did this two people. years ago, we had a chance to lock in for three years, and we just wanted to go with two. And that's why we're here. I don't think we should change our rule just because it's we didn't change our rules. That's the way the rules been for. Long, long time. Come out of this committee today because it's because committee. you got one day. You're you've got that day to get it signed. You don't understand what I'm saying. We do understand what you're saying, but by next week, Please this could be 15 me. cents. You're saying it's expeditious that we avoid the rule that for the chairman to sign a contract, it has to be approved by the board, correct? No, this is a this is a passed new a resolution rule. allowing for this we, process. It was passed years ago. The board passed a resolution allowing for the finance committee to approve the rate because of the short term. We're, we're not did. debating your rules. We already did that at a board of Yes, you yes. said it seven years, years ago. All right, now we're Okay, John was up. How could you even budget for this? To begin to uh, 
Okay. You make right. your best guess. Just the budget is a plan. You you just plan accordingly. But no, we didn't. But if we didn't lock this in. Would you? Would you use use these numbers in the budget? Okay. Al's shaking his head. Okay. Right. You, it's your best. <laughs> you would can. I would recommend it. You would continue. You would continue to look at it up until the day we present. If he came to see me and had that conversation, okay. we would probably <laughs> be on the same page. Okay. <laughs> I would agree with what Daryl said. But now we're talking about $252,000. I would think, is there a way that we could do a look to say, how do we turn lights off throughout the county throughout the year? Do we need it on from 1 a.m. to 6 a.m.? Do we need lights, outside lights? I don't know. It, but if it was going to cost us $33,000, you go, well, maybe it's not worth spending the time at, but $252,000. Is there a comprehensive picture we can look at the county wattage and say, hey, Jesus, we can go way back if we don't. That's, that's why we were doing all the LED replacements. I know uh, Tony Jordan brought it up, uh, take out every other light bulb. That's what they did in the state to get there, you know, to try to make it. Yeah, we'll I get it. But it yeah. all fall under that. But, but we would have maybe to we start start looking at a quarter of a million. Yeah, question. But that, that's not what the motion is about. Right. Shut the light off and you leave the bathroom. <laughs> if somebody sunk the chairman was into that quite a while ago. <laughs> you guys aren't very good at it. <laughs> What's the video? Yeah, both of them. So all in favor say aye, but this is at the actual price, or are we amending it where Daryl wanted to go? I guess that's what I need to know. I made the motion I amended to what Daryl said. The 26 month oh, rate. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that that's what I want to know. I think he said the lowest rate. The lowest oh, wait, term. Lowest Sam can sign this today. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Daryl, Sam can sign this today. So this is no. the number. So this, this, this is the number. Right. 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 This is the number as far as we know. Yeah, I'm still good. I'm still good in my original there, there yes. And in worst case scenario, we would do this on Friday at the board meeting if and try it again. We're gonna have to keep trying it till we get there. Twenty-six months. Twenty-six months. That's right. the motion. Bring it down, have Sam sign it and send it. That's the motion. Okay, twenty-six months no matter what it says here. Okay. I just want to make sure we all understand that. All favor say aye. Aye. But my, my, my motion was my original motion. That's what I did. Six months at these. No, she said the number you did for today. We're passing it right now. It should be. Right. It should be. The last time it was supposed to be two. Yeah, the last time it was supposed to be two. That's why I put it up there. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Very good point, Mr. Rosal. Very good. Okay. We're done with the energy. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do we not have the end? We didn't know. Next stop is Anthem. We did go. Okay. Okay. Do we not have a property BMS system? Okay. So, no, a little bit more there. Do we not have a property BMS system where we can control, like, have a. a yes. what, what's that? There is one. I don't, I don't know how sophisticated it is, but we do have a I think it is pretty well sophisticated, but I don't know. Well, that's Matt Jones, but that'll be government. Well, that, okay, then I'm coming to government office. That will be government office. Okay, for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Right. Well, what is it? Hire me for fifty. I'll hire you for fifty. I'll go down to the barn. I'll go to every other town. You got to open up the chair. We're going to step out of order because the under sheriff is here at the moment, and we don't want to take his time. He's better first. Okay, and there's two. We're in other, and this was coming out of the uh, ARPA meeting from Dana and a half's question a few meetings ago, and we're probably not going to get into particulars because of uh, this situation is whatever top secret. <laughs> what, are we, what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about using ARPA money to provide the sheriff's department with what they need. It's the what you brought up. Remember what you brought up. It's what they have brought up a few minutes ago. Nice. So we, we're down to other? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. That was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> we held an ARPA meeting. Okay. Yeah, Bob, we to discuss, you know, what the, the 
sheriff's department had come up with for their emergency response equipment. Um, we felt that it was, you know, an important thing, and you know, I think we all agreed when, when we were talking about it that it was an important thing. But, you know, our department obviously didn't have a Texas situation happening. Uh, what we asked them to do because it was we were talking about specific amounts of money was to go out and get us some bids on and not be excuse me, quotes on what uh, it was gonna cost us. We'd have some rough number, which I brought the wrong folder, so I don't have the rough number, but uh, I presume Melissa does it. Anyway, they came in with the three quotes and only one of which was really responsive. Looked like a good thing. Uh, we decided in there with committee that it was fair from work probably best to take it out of the internet money, put it into this, this would be a, a better use of, of the air funding get our department up and stop up where it should be. And uh, we very much supported doing it. The problem was these quotes were good for 30 days. So running it through the whole community structure, you know, would have <clears throat> put us back to square one and the way things were changing it from the time we first talked about it with them until when we did it. We had, you know, a pretty significant increase. We didn't want to do that again, so we decided to bring it with, with you know, public safety chairman's agreement to bring it straight to finance. Well, that's where we are today. Uh, mm -hmm. I would, well, we'll talk about your three hundred one thousand three hundred one thousand. So what you're saying, if I can come up, yep. what you're saying is the three hundred one thousand would come out of the ARPA money that was maybe earmarked for internet. Yes. Does that deplete the internet? No, they do start with six million dollars. Okay. What are they down to now? Six dollars and seven cents. <laughs> we went every time we every time we do something. Three point five million. Three and a half million. Yeah, but, 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 you know, as a as a practical matter, we've determined that it's pretty difficult for us to affect the internet very much, no matter how much money we throw at it. I, I just want to correct Bob there because he was saying a better use of the money. <laughs> I, sorry, it's not a better use. I'm it's, sorry. it's a more efficient use for right now. Yeah. It's, it's a, more, it's a better, time, better timely use of it. Yeah, it, it pretty much take, took care of what Dana was worried about. And I, and I think we all thought that was important. I didn't want you to get beat up in the press. Oh, <laughs> At the working group meeting, uh, the sheriff. And Lieutenant Daniel went through the quotes that they received um, for the equipment that they're looking for. Um, in looking into the purchasing procedures a little bit more, um, we would have to go out to bid for um, the actual purchase. Um, but that being said, I think um, you know, taking the recommendation of the working group for that 300, you're marking it, giving it, making a, a line, I guess, in the budget for. Uh, the sheriff's office to be able to use those funds, but we would have to do the, um, go through that procedure to actually purchase the next procedure. I think we should do it. I think it's going to be the best use of our money that we cost because for the greater county, you know, the whole hopefully county it'll never ever be used. Well, but, but yeah. Do it as fast as possible. Yes. Thank you. You made motion. A motion. I'll yeah. second. Thank you. You made a motion. I made a motion yeah. that we. Purchase. Is, Are we on? Can you say hi? Aye. Yeah, I'll second. Oh. Yep. Kerry? You can just, just a clarification. You're authorizing the bids. At some point, we're going to have to come back and get this in this budget for the bids. Yes. Unless you, unless you okay. react, unless you want to get it, you want to pass a budget amendment today. Why don't you do it all right now? Right. right. If the bids come in higher, you're going to back to the well a second time. Do you get less of something? Yeah. Well, well, we the no, I don't. I mean, we can, we can I get don't want to I don't want to discuss specifically what we're doing. Right. We don't want to discuss tactics in public, but I think that there's nothing there we ought to be discarding. In fact, you know, True. five thousand dollars higher, we ought to think we ought to, we ought to approve the purchase at the lowest bid price. My question was only do you want the budget amendment today or when the bids come back? It's going to do a man's going to put another one out. Right. I still need to approve the bids to get that award. Right. 
We just, uh, yeah, right. I guess we're going to do that. So you can do the budget of the one you brought up. Pressing, we could hold a special meeting to come. At which you can still win. We can still do it. We can still do it. We can still do it. We'll be able to have a good track. We're good. I think the best thing is to do So let me also clarify the motion that is to put it up to bid. Then is that the motion we have or no? I'm back to purchasing equipment. So. Probably when are we locking the number at the 301 and just amend the number if we need to? I think you better do that. That way, that money is. Okay. I'm fine with it. I just wanted to ask. Yeah. I wanted to, I wanted to put it in at 325. 325. And if it's it lower, can be less, it can be less. Right? Yeah, if it's less, it's less. That was the working group. We'll only about this to the recommend 301. Well, the chairman of the working group looks at the 325. How do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're working. No, they don't want to We have a working group. Okay. Do I have an amendment to put it at 325? Well, so moved. Moved. We're, 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 we have to bid. And we have to bid in order to purchase. Yeah, right. So the motion should be. Wait, wait, wait. Let me the lawyer. So here's my suggestion. That your motion is this committee approves the allocation of up to X amount of dollars of ARPA funds to the sheriff's department for this purpose and authorizes them to go out to bid. What do you say? What do you say? Excellent. Think right, about right. Right. Can we make it even simpler to say that we authorize the acceptance of a lowest responsible bidder? You can. Yeah, I mean, you can, but you still have that way the number. If the number changes, it's still the lowest responsible bidder. Well, the, the bids are going to come back. Bids can come right back to the board anyway. I mean, as you pointed out the first time, unless there's some short circuit resolution of the board to allow it, they're all going to the board. So, but you're doing two things here. You move, you're taking ARPA money that you previously had a recommend or a sketchy plan for a sketch plan. <laughs> a sketch plan, right? To, to break it up. You're now changing that breakup. Okay. So you're you're now this committee is now recommending that those funds be actually committed to something rather than as part of a, a recommendation, right? So you're committing those plans. So you're saying this committee recommends those plan that those funds from ARPA be committed in the amount of X. Is that with 300, 325? And authorizing them to go out to bid to purchase the equipment. That's what you're doing. That's all yes. this committee can really do today. I believe that's what Dana Half said. Yes. Verbatim. What's is there the number? 325? 3, 325. Yes. And is there a second? Yes. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Karen, can I have a question? Me too. Yep. 325,000, how many patrol vehicles do we have? It's so how much does 325,000 go into 26 cars? Goes to every but, individual. So whoever arrives is equipped. But the vehicle, it's in the vehicle. So how many vehicles are there? No, it, not, not necessarily the vehicles. You gotta remember all hands are on deck in certain situations and there's not enough vehicles for everybody to have one. So. It's yeah, if I may, the capability is tied to the individual. Uh, you yes. can't just break it down by a car, so it's uh, fitted and uh, specific to an individual. But there are many of the many, much equipment lives in the vehicle in the trunk until you extract it and use it. Yeah. These okay. So, John, can you get back? You know who they are, who the bidders are, and what's going on. Yes. Gentlemen, we're having a meeting next Friday. If you can get your act together, give me the numbers. We can put this to that by next Friday. We can do it next Friday. We have to put it out to Right. We have so yeah. many meetings that are going to be joint meetings for the budget. Okay. We can always why, schedule why a special meeting. Right. <laughs> for so many days. Yes. 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 Right. Well, I think it's that is an option. Right. That, that, that's the new yeah. yeah. that that That's not right. There, there right. are some right. items that are amongst the contract for the entire equipment package. 
So you'd almost want to know the big, the total number you want to bring to this. <laughs> It'll, it's going to take 30 days before yeah, 30 days. Okay. okay. Well, thank you guys for coming. Yeah, it, was, you. it was very well, easy. Well, 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 I'm well, just well, sorry well, that you have to relive this. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Up to 325. So there is a budget. Yes. So, so can I ask you a question before they leave? No, we'll wrap Maybe. No. That's what your question is. Roger. <laughs> Well, you're going to see some other resolutions in here that award things and exempt it from cure process. You can't exempt things from 301. It's a certain amount of money it has to be given. You can't do that. You can't exempt it from the procurement process. What you're going to do with some of the consulting things that you're going to do today. So, no, you can't exempt it from the <laughs> The state contract is an exemption to you. And we'll bring it back to whatever committee or board, right. whatever works best for those responses. But to you can exempt it from the procurement. But procurement the policy is admitting part of the procurement policy. Our procurement policy is more restrictive than the state. The state's. Okay. Than one of GM materials for law 103. Okay. okay. So, for example, consultants don't need to be at all. We have process. So we exempt ourselves from our own process. Or we can't exempt ourselves from state. Gotcha. Okay, so okay. the treasurer wants to make sure this um, resolution amends the budget at the same time. Well, that's not what I heard. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, there is no resolution. You're not going to see a resolution next Friday. Next Friday. That there's not a budget amendment. Correct. Right. 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 That's what I thought I heard him say. Right. Very right. nice. There'll be a budget amendment when the bids come back. Right. That's what I wanted right. to clarify. But you don't want to go out and start committing these funds without some indication. At least this committee that you want to commit these. So now you've, you, these are off the table now. Until everything's done. Right. And then it'll come back. Right. Well, just because the ARPA, the ARPA plan has been just that a plan. Now you're committing. So you have to kind of tell, tell the world that you're committing these now. We're actually going to go out and spend them. So this committee has said, yes, we're going to actually go out and spend them up to this amount. Go, do, go make that happen. And October will have a formal yeah. Or whenever we get. Very good. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 Negative results. Give reference from the Warren Washington IDA. I received a payment on two properties in the town of Fort Edward today that you may all be familiar with. The old, formerly owned by WCC, those taxes are in full. Did you buy the lunch? You said <laughs> I probably should. You should. <laughs> you probably should. Yeah, we'll the the first the can, we the can we go to Warden Steakhouse? $10.50. Is it 1.2 something? They, they're, they're all separate receipts. I have that. I think $1.2 million? Yes, sir. $1.227. There you go. Better late than never. <laughs> month, month, a month to spare. So I do have those receipts for whichever one of you gentlemen wants them. Uh, you want to take this opportunity, Dave, to yeah, just let's introduce. Uh, by the way, this is uh, Jeff Barton. Jeff Barton is the CEO of the IDA. I'm going to leave a lot of pressure out of my back, and uh, um, you will be a great addition to the staff. And it's better than the company. So good. You brought him here to see all the sausages made. <laughs> I warned him. Yeah, no, he's name. also going to speak at the other because we were told to come back to this committee. So you will hear about check. that in the other years. So yeah. stay tuned. You can see Mr. Barton at his best. Okay, good. Oh, we want to scan him into the bank account. No. It's already gone. It's already gone. So, 
another chapter behind us and looking forward. But that assumes that the current year will be paid as well, or you now no, the year is not long year out of that. We get the second bill to the Everything that was owed to the county is now paid. Thank you, full. Thank goodness. Okay. Resolution C is that where we're at? So, um, oh, okay. okay. If Sorry, you don't have, I got some paper copies of the packets. <laughs> if you want. Well, there's a, another negative from this morning's deposit. It's only twenty two hundred dollars, so I'm not, I'm not terribly heartbroken about that. Considering we, we've seen some negatives uh, after they've done the recalculation between upstate and downstate. So remember the, the estimates that the state does is based on last year, and they're finding that New York City's actual this year is considerably higher than their actual last year. So there's, there was a shift back in June, if you remember right, they, they hit us for a million bucks. Um, that's when they recalculated the downstate upstate allocations. So with this, this estimate now only $2,200 off of last year, uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't break my heart. It's been a couple hundred thousand. Right, and I probably had some conversations about it. <laughs> uh, so I, 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 there's nothing on the horizon that's really got me terribly nervous. You know, even breaking for the rest of the year doesn't break my heart. So not, not terrible news. And then uh, this is the gas price is going down. To it's going to, but I, I but that's far. I, I have to measure two or three months away. because we won't, we won't have because of the lag in it. Okay. It's going to take a little while for that to hit. Okay. My my hopes still are. Some of the people that I know personally that ordered cars have now received at least their VIN numbers. So I think about the same time we start seeing the dip in gas sales tax, yes. you're going to start seeing some of the new cars finally being finally being delivered. Uh, some of those new cars are actually hitting the lots. So we're going to, I think you're going to start seeing some of the, the automobile, which remember is our number one category in Washington. You're going to see, I think you're going to see a, a temporary spike. So to me, there's going to be an artificial blip when the, when the cars hit because it's going to be a catch-up period. But then there will be a smoothing again next year. We'll we'll see what that number actually. Yeah, we see some acceleration. And then after midterms, you see the fuel price go back up, and you get all that back. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> that. <laughs> when there's three people on this, in this room that did their part, the same dealership. Oh, that was it. So you you've all received your due counties electronically, but I gave you the paper version as well in your package. Uh, the three towns that asked me to invoice them, I have invoiced. If your town is going to pay me directly, you want an invoice, please make sure you ask me. You're not going to get one automatically. Um, any of you? I'm sorry. I want to check for the first time in years. So any of you who are in the red, uh, you have Argyle, Fort Anne, Fort Edward, Hampton. Hebron and Kingsburg, you will all receive checks for me this year. Congratulations. I'm good to go. Uh, as far as the budget to actual, I just wanted to touch on a couple of uh, winners and losers uh, this year compared to last year. So uh, when we're down a little bit, one of them was third weeks. Uh, so I haven't talked to Stephanie yet to see what if she had a fault on what was different or if there's some timing differences, but her her clerk fees are down two hundred thousand dollars from the same time last year. That's a significant variance. So I, I I only ran these figures last night, so I haven't had an opportunity to talk to her. But I want to see if she's got a kind of uh, any kind of feeling on if that's a, a timing thing, a temporary thing, or if there's a new norm. Did you notice it? If that's through June, through July, or through August. I see. I only look at this the same year, period last year. So right. it should be apples to apples. But we're, this is an early meeting. Next week, you would. But I do it at the end of August, so it should be apples to apples. No, I didn't know if they had time enough to get July's or August in. Because when I, I did a whole report and a whole count. What I'm saying is her report to me is always in the first week of the next month. So it should be apples to apples. So you're going off her report or new world? They're just the same thing. Yeah. And I don't know if she could have had it in with the Labor Day weekend. But when I went in, August, August. When I went in, everything was through June instead of even through July. Sure, of course, exactly. the so it's August. But August. it wasn't on the This isn't like the carpool and stuff like that. This is bits of that. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's my concern because I noticed, I thought we were in great shape, but we're just moving along. 
the other one that's that's possibly related is the um, the additional mortgage tax money is off one hundred forty seven thousand for the same year. It's up. It's down. It's off. It's, it's off the wrong way. Yeah. So those two numbers concern me a little bit. You know, with two hundred thousand in clerk fees and one hundred fifty thousand in mortgage tax. But I think Stephanie did touch a little bit on the mortgage tax dip a little bit. I think government ops are right. But those were two that really stuck out to me, the significant variances of the long run. On the upside, um, the, the interest and penalties that we've collected um, are 47000 over this time last year. That's, that's, on, that's interest and penalties on real property. Thanks. Uh, no, because that, that don't leave the books today, so that'll, that'll so just even, even higher. So I, I have a feeling that because we move forward with foreclosure, I've seen payments starting to come in. Right. Those payments are going to include interest that we should have gotten. They got letters. Yep. They got letters. So the letters, even though there's a cost to the county, they do generate some action. People now know that if, if auction is imminent, that they do tend to, to react accordingly. Um, so that would be, I mean, people were paying last year because they didn't have to. This year, their understanding the moratorium is lifted and action will be taken. So that, that's you know, good and bad, depending on how you philosophically look at it. Either way, we're getting money. And they, uh, <laughs> and they all around. And so, so Marco Money has helped with the DSS department and the public health department. So the about another one point one million to the variances in the positive direction far away the, the few that are on the, the wrong way. It's two of the largest ones, the wrong way, but both coming clear from me. So I did want to kind of Maybe have her speak to you guys in the next couple of months about yeah, I'll try to get to the trend word and read those. But I thought you might want to know yeah. in advance because if we're trending a different way, better to know now than November. The good news and interest of penalties is basically good news based upon that. That's much better. So it's up from last year, but it's just a catch up. Totally right. interesting. But the, the, bad news, the bad news is it costs taxpayers another 12%. Yeah. Right. So we need. So, uh, the, if you'll notice um, in your package on the cash balance sheet, I apologize for only having good news today. I know it's not characteristic of the, the investment account that I use with One Plus National has now gone up to 2.4%. I haven't seen that number in a very, very long time. Uh, so, I'm extremely happy to have over $30 million. There's a, there's a considerable amount of money in that account. Whose laws of physics say there will be an equal and opposite reaction? So, when we go down the pipe, if you decide to borrow in the near future, you'll be borrowing at a higher rate. <laughs> We've seen on the town level, we, we switched to night class that we're seeing quite a bit more in our interest because the Fed raised the interest rate and night class follows them. In Woods Falls, monitors night class for me, they are committed to staying even or a percentage point. So you can even budget an interest and income for next year. We can put it in for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> Last couple of years. Good. And I, the last update I have is a real quick one. I spoke to the county attorney yesterday. We are still on track for the uh, auction process to occur in October 2018 and 19. Again, we will be having further discussion about whether we want one or two options next year because we still have one year prior to catch up on and that will have the 21s that are that we begin the cycle this October. So whether we have two more years next October or we do a spring and a fall, we'll be having that conversation. Two years will be caught up this October. Uh, the, the unfortunate thing is liens that would have only been for three years are now going to be for five years. So depending on how we do an auction, this might be the first time you've seen a rather large negative number from the from the sale, but at least the, the properties will be will be made whole at some level and, and move on. So the question is, is how many eighteen and nineteen 
would also be in the 2021 and 22 sales. That, that, that you number, so I'm going to go off that, but how many would you So I, I, I number them independently. So you don't see those numbers repeated. So when when I tell you there's 77 and 18 and 104 and 19, there are no duplications. So that they wouldn't appear in 2022. Right. So if I give you an inventory of 20 to 21, you will not include the one you're going for 18. Okay, good. I'll check it out. And what's, what's the structure of the audit? It will be a two week online. Yeah, we're not meeting at the Hartford Firehouse anymore. That was, that was a big day in Hartford. It was a big day. So, so it's and it was a pretty good breakfast, I won't lie. Yes. So, <laughs> but that's what it's going to be this week. I'll let out. Right. But based on what we're seeing across the state and other counties, it has been a significant benefit to the counties and the bidders to have the online option. A lot of the people who couldn't make it one day event, obviously, you can have an opportunity to participate that maybe couldn't have on a, on a live event, a one day live event. So they are seeing a better return on, on the online events. I have no problem with test driving it this year to see there's no harm in going back to a live event in the future if, the, if we determine this just a, wasn't our, our cup of tea. But I think I'd be remiss if I didn't recommend it based on the results of the rest of the state. Didn't Warren County have very good results from their online? They were very, very happy with it. Many counties, Mr. Heff, are seeing a significant increase in participation. Not while I hate to take properties at all, if you're going to, then. You do have to try to at least maximize the bank for the bucket. You'll reach out to the potential bidders the same way you did before. But instead of coming to Hartford, they're going to go online and they'll still know about it. Yep, it'll be advertised on my site, Oxford International site. They have a little postcard mailing they can do to their regular, you know, anybody who registered last year gotcha. will get a little hey, just so you know, postcard traditionally from that. Let's see what happens. I think it's good it's not in Hartford anymore. Thank you. You brought it to Hartford just to poke me in the eye. Well, you, know, is that that? Well, you have a nice open house on the weekend coming up in Hartford. Stewart's going to kill you. But you brought the evil that I'm against. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be offended by that, Mr. Then why don't you just loan money to all those properties so they can pay the taxes off? Guilty content. But you don't lend money if you don't think you're going to act. That's not your business. Yeah, but it's a great public service for you to do for those people who are. Okay. Unless there's any questions, that's all. You have resolution C. I have, have a some name and number return school debt. Is there anything that is going to you? Well, that's a regular yeah. annual that authorizes me to collect taxes from November 15th to November 30th. Just a move by Jay Hogan. Second. Just under discussion, I just want to remind the board this is not something that you have to do. This is a courtesy. So I don't want you to feel like this is something that you are you know, locked into. One of the second chance for yeah. One of the one of the the only the only real downside is internal staff because with this extra two weeks of collection. I can't get the unpaid to Debbie and Laura by December first. So when they start getting ready for tax bills, I push them up against a pretty hard wall because I have to honor postmarks. And unfortunately, last year probably saw more than <clears throat> normal uh, mail that was seven and eight days old but had a valid postmark on. And Debbie and Laura can't move forward with their relevies until I give them the numbers. So the real, the only real downside is is internally. And sometimes, sometimes it may delay you getting your bills by the December board meeting. But that's, that's really the, the downside. The upside is it's two more weeks for taxpayers to, to make it before that 7% comes on. So I just want to make sure that you know there is an option so if you choose not to. Any discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so we are on to the resolutions at this point. So resolution D. Let's see. Those one we just said. No, we don't. B. 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 Oh, I said school taxes. Yes. Well, then you know, yeah. Yeah. I'll move. I I'll said move. it is school taxes instead of village taxes. I wonder if it didn't make sense. Move move B. B. I'll try to say I. Wait, wait, we're on. We're doing C. We're doing C. We just did C. Yeah. 
We did the schools. I was out of order. Yeah. No, but he moved the village. I seconded the village. <laughs> The mental okay. Says, okay. 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 I'll pay say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. He is to accept the funding for him assistance. Move by Dave. Second. Second, Second by Daryl. Any discussion? I'll pay say aye. 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 Opposed? Can I have Carried. a question? Oh, go ahead. This is for infant nutritional assistance. I haven't seen any reference in New Lippy, but this formula still not available. From what I would they're back. So that this money would go towards formula as well. And it is available. But because what happens is the money gets funded to the EDP card and people who are receiving assistance. And if they spend it on formula, they spend it on formula. If they spend it on something, Okay. Okay, resolution F. To amend the uh, budget for rental supplemental program funds. Who they did for a second? Second. No. Any discussion? All favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. Okay. Resolution G is child passenger safety grant. So moved. By Dave, second. Second. Any discussion? Favor say aye. Aye. Uh, H is the amount of capital project for fire repairs. Uh, moved by Dave. Is there a second? Second. second. Any, any discussion on that at all? Favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carry. I is to amend the capital improvement plan. Moved by Dave, second. Mademoiselle, kids can leave there. Discussion, all favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, carry. J is uh, capital project H123. It's a microwave improvement upgrades for an operable project. Communication grant. So moved. Moved by Daryl, second. Moved by, or second by Sue Clary. Any discussion? All favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Here it. Okay. K is to amend public safety budget for domestic terrorism prevention grant. So moved. moved. By second by Daryl. Any discussion? All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Here it. Okay, Sheriff's Department Marine Patrol Grant. So moved. Hey, Daryl, second. David Ryan, any discussion on this one? All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay, M is the budget. Sheriff for Chairs Patrol Vehicle Computer Mouse. So moved. Hey, okay. Daryl, second. David Ryan, discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? How Carried. much are these chairs? Jesus. So we're doing public safety. We're doing public safety. 600 bucks. What a deal. Uh, what a deal. Oh, we're doing, we're some, of some were over five, some were under five. Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Resolution and various personal budget services amendments. I'd like to get a lot You have the right to change your money. <laughs> okay, so and it's just uh, money that if you remember, money was all over the board going into budget season. We've never moved it to the actual accounts where it gets paid out to. This is actually moves that money. 
And it's, it's very important for us to have been moved so that when you compare all oh, things, you, you yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it's very important for the budget process that you can see what the amended budget number is and what the new budget number is. So, you do see the increase. So, moved by Dave O'Brien, second. <coughs> I'll second. Yep. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Just, just for the committee's clarification, uh, to make life easier and more effective for you guys, I've agreed with Mr. Campbell to post this today because you're going to go to print on your budget packets to start your budget work. So if I waited until the world board meeting to post this, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be in your printed packets for your budget workshops. So I just wanted you all to, to let you know that I'm working with Brian. I'm going to post this today, unless there's any reason to think that it won't succeed on the floor Friday. If it fails Friday, I can always reverse it, but I'd probably not do that. Oh, and then the staffing pattern is titled by grade schedule. Mr. Cummington. Just trying to collect the whole staff. Yeah. <laughs> Right, get every committee I can. Okay. I'll favor say aye or no. Oh, I need a motion. Daryl gave her. Motion. Daryl made the motion. I, I, I Dave. Dave. Second by Dave. I'll second. <laughs> Any discussion? Yeah. Is this the um, break off between part time and full time? Is, no. Or is that 32 hours? That's 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Good question. Remind everybody. All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay. P. To accept the renewal of the Humana Medicare Advantage. Tyree. Tyree Health Insurance um, has to be renewed annually. Uh, the contract runs from January 1st to December 31st. Uh, the carrier is Humana. So we're looking to renew that contract and authorize the chairman to sign that contract. So moved by Dave, second. All second. Second by Daryl. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. Resolution two, standard work day to our fire investigator. Motion by Dave, second. Second. Daryl. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay, the Subject Crimes Victim Grant is resolution R, District Attorney. Need a motion? Okay, second. Second. Second by Darrell. Any discussion on this? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carried. And we've already done resolution S, so resolution T. Uh, this is a Washington County Lead Agency for CR 37 Pavement Preservation Project. And I think Deb sent this out yesterday, so you guys can see it. So I need a motion to move that. Move by Dave, second by Jay. Any discussion? All favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Well, we're on the other and I think we're going to go back to the last question. So, update on the budget. We're, I'm looking to do the same joint meetings that we've done in the past. Uh, that should make it a little bit easier. Uh, we're trying to hold 100 meetings in the next 100 days. You know, you guys are going to have to let me know what it is you want. Last year's budget, I tried to bring it in an area where things were good. Under the cap, it became a zero. Now things are bad. So I don't know if you want to raise taxes when things are bad because that was the concern last year. We still went forward and lowered it. So I don't know if you want to raise it now to make things fit or if you want zero. I don't know where you want to be. So I need to hear from you on that because. I'd say it's 2020, but right now, last year's time. 
you know, treating this a little bit of a problem and uh, trying to make the capital plan work. And so over this year, we've realized the 20 to $30 million worth of capital improvements we need over the next few years. And you can't expect that state's gonna keep throwing us money to fund those things. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to make any of that fit. And uh, of course, we've already locked into all our uh, union agreements, the only ones that are coming up as the sheriffs. Don't see what we're gonna be much different on those than in others. So that's kind of where we're at. So if you guys have a preference where you want to be, how you want to get there, let me know. Other than that, things are gonna be kind of along the same lines. So that's all I got. The budget updates, that will have everything out from meetings. So is there anything you want to add, Doug? No, I think try to follow basically the same schedule, right? And then tomorrow we have a joint meeting with the ACC committee. So I need people there to help form because it's not on Zoom. I just want to remind everybody of that. So another, I'm going to go back to Dave and touch. You know, one thing I wanted to add I always present to a budget officer uh, three tax cap scenarios one's the max, one's zero. It was what I call the break even. So the tax cap law allows for carry forward. So money you could have levied and didn't, but it's the lesser of what you didn't levy or one and a half percent of what you could have. Levied. So I give Brian one of the three scenarios I give him is what's that number where what you didn't levy and what you can carry forward are the same. So there, there's kind of a sweet spot. It's not the most you could levy, but it's also not the least you could levy. So there's a spot where you can leave some money on the table for next year. Uh, we, we, we left about a million dollars on the table by going zero. I'm not judging that, that that action was an action that was appropriate at that time. The, the result of that action is there's a million dollars you'll never find, which is great. Two million dollars less in taxes, right? So I just want to make sure that if any of you have an interest in any of those Areas. If you're going to give advice to the budget officer on where you'd like them to be, I'll be more than happy to provide you with what those scenarios each look like. Because it's anywhere from zero to five point something percent is what we're looking at based on what you didn't levy last year, what you can levy this year. And then the break at the sweet spot is around what three, three, two, six. That's the, the spot where you're not leaving any money on the table, but you've raised a little bit in taxes. So Anybody that's interested in those numbers will have be happy to share those. Thanks, you. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. So back to Dave and Chuck, and we're going to talk about uh, the agency on the bridge. Right. Uh, a while back, we had a discussion about the meeting agenda bridge. Clarify, it will still be owned by the idea. It is possible to have. Lead agency of the county for numerous reasons. The first is paperwork is very substantial. It takes someone who understands it, that understands the paperwork involved. And look at some of the other advice that other agencies have done in the exact same situation. That has been a big downfall. The last projects look at done is they don't have a problem with the paperwork and just bring the fund. The second reason is, is that. The lead agency being the bridge, the county being the lead agency for the bridge, is that we then move to be eligible for market selling funds. And that's 5% versus the project uh, match, the local match. If it's not the lead agency, it's 20%. So that could be a substantial three to four, five hundred thousand dollars span in there. So, you know, what we talked about, I was hoping that would be here. She's behind you all the way, Dave. I, 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 I <laughs> so she'll so correct me in the things they look at, but if they do that, um, it still doesn't affect the ownership of the bridge, it still doesn't affect the funding of the bridge, except for the difference in large selling points. It just gives the advantage to the IDA to save a substantial amount of money in the local match to have this done. Um, we did talk about it is on the bridge. I mean, that's, it is on the tip. Yeah. And what we got to keep by October first is to make to, to declare the agency. Is that correct? Well, um, it, you 
can start working on the project. So you can assign somebody. The fiscal year for the beds doesn't begin till October first. So if you have all your ducks in a row on October first, you can figure out okay. for that. So when does leading? Yeah. I guess before then, if you want to start that day. Um, one of the other things we discussed in, in the term for compensation is the bridge there, that uh, temporary bridge, the bridge there, which is actually a construction bridge. Um, we're going to get the temporary bridge when this is still probably got another 10 to 15 to 20 years later. But it is something that Deb has indicated before it helped us change that she can actually use that bridge for the county, whether she's going to use it at the White Hall or other areas. That's still what we talked about. Was that yep. still true? Yeah. Current state of so it gives, gives something there. So what we talked about last time in finance, it was that taxes would be discussed it. You know, again, it's a tax cut. Um, when you talk about Marcelli and the agent and all that stuff, that what county cost or does the IDA bear this cost? And want to sell your maybe bridge to the county? Is it a sale or are you bartering the bridge for the county's work? Where do the dollars come from? So dollars all come from the county. We were looking at the fact that we established a price for the bridge is that we use that in some sort of swap status so we cover the county's costs for it. So, so it's a kind of barter. It's a barter. Okay. It could also be Deb's work. It could be you know, dollars would be internal work. And the compensation would be based on the barter for the bridge. Oh, is there an actual accounting of that? Or does that, that do the work that she needs to do to get it going and to get the bridge? Or is there an actual accounting that spent this much time and the bridge is worth this much? And we're actually going to reconcile that? Or is it just going to be the same? Yeah. I don't know how much administration is, so I'll, I'll, I'll leave to the point. Not that I'm advocating either way. I'm just wondering. So the person, the uh, consultant that's been chosen for this job does most of the work. We do paperwork. We keep the records and, and transfer. It's kind of new for us too, to, you know, because we keep the records for our jobs. So we would be keeping the records for this job. Um, it's really just getting the uh, the process going. You know how I bring the uh, resolutions and everything here for you guys to look at and do budget amendments, and um, we funnel the bills through our. Uh, Office and stuff like that. So, cash flow from the process. Yes. We cash flow well, from the cost. Right. That's the real cost. Cash the flow interest, of the interest that we lose. Next million dollars. This, this is re Marshall's reimbursement base. So, if it's a $2 million project, every time we send a voucher to audit until Marshall returns that money to me, it's loss of interest on that. Yeah. So, that compensation is when he talks about the, the Bailey Bridge as a swap seat. He's taken into consideration that's time, my time, that's staff time, and the lost interest on the money. So that it's a it's a fair valuation, in my opinion, based on what the, the bridge is is potentially worth as a swap. You know, the real dollars that we're out that's definitely compensated by the value of the, the inventory. Mr. Okay, now uh, Mark Shelley has a new one hundred percent. It's 80 15 5. Uh, okay. 80 state or 80 federal 15 state and five local. The local would have to be, unless Roger can slap me from wrong, but we have to have an MOA, some kind of agreement with the IDA for their, they'd be holding up to 5%. So there'd have to be an agreement with them in the county to make that, that structure work. Okay. That thing is worth the time and money. It's like the contract that you will have about the bridge removal because it's got to come out. It's only be demolished. 
but the contract you have for the new bridge will include the removal of the existing bridge and then what we truck away. Yes, yep, that'll be all into the plan. So, yes. so we will make sure that we don't have to incur cost on that. Um, so, so I'm Question for Al, let's get us any cash flow issues. Thankfully, no. It just Marsh is so much a lot better, right? Al? Mark Shirley seems to be back on, I'm not going to call it on track because that's generous, but it's it's definitely not where it was a year ago. Okay. We're seeing money coming back through. <laughs> to get into the weeds, I think we need to. Pardon me. But it sounds to me like it's an even swap, but it might not be once the value of the bridge is determined. Then the only thing you're swapping is what the value of our work versus a portion of that bridge. So we might end up getting the bridge and paying something for it, correct? Because it the sounds other, like we're the other way around. We have no idea. We have no idea what. All right, so we're talking about the value of the bridge versus the value of what of we the do, work, right? And then there might be a difference. And we or are you saying swaps easy? I like that. Swaps so easy. Right. I, just I think we need to ask money. this because I don't yeah. want six months from now, it's like, oh, I didn't know. So yeah. I'll go back and talk about it because we have to establish the value of the bridge. And whatever that does, I mean, the idea is not trying to make the county non whole. Trying to make sure the county's whole and whole. You know, we've had values of bridge from, I don't know what it was. I don't remember. $50,000, $250,000. Depends on the need of it, and what you can be using it for, um, and what it would potentially save the county versus having to put a new bridge up at a million dollars. You got $250,000 bridge to put in there because the people moves out. That potentially could save the county seven hundred fifty thousand in bonds and all the other paperwork in there. So, you know, we still have to establish the value of the bridge. Who, who's we? The idea. Well, the plan. When you say we, I just want to get clarified. I'm leaning on. I don't know anything about value the bridge. Why do you? Why would you need to value the bridge? Probably right. for the yeah. paperwork for the grant and it sounds like you're the bill marks. Yeah. Sounds yeah. different. Pardon? It sounds like you want to bill us if there's a difference. That disorder. Okay. Okay. Let's things. let's talk. About that that wasn't sense. my purpose. My purpose was if it comes that say I'm just I'm not tying the number, just throwing out. Say if the bridge is worth two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and Deb's time and everything else is two hundred seventy five. I don't want the county twenty five thousand. But it was two twenty five. We're not coming back. We're not. We're not, not paying paying back. Back. I, I, I was not coming back. I was it's a swap. It's, it's just a total even, swap. Even right. swap. No county. Right. Not even dollar wise, but this is the effort. Right. The county, Deb, right. Roger, Al, we do the effort, lead agency. And for that effort, the consideration is we get the bridge. Not yes. Well, you only get three fourths because you got to pay me the other four because right. it's worth more. And the no. only reason you're valuing is because you have to do that for your grant to have a number right. in the whole process. Yes. Right. That confuses it way too much. Right, but that's, that. right. So right. the value is just fine. Right. Now, time to be equal. But the five, we're not going to count all that. coming from the idea. Yes, right. We're not going to track all that. Right. And one other question Is there any way that once this daily comes out, new bridge is constructed, and it's all done, ribbon cutting ceremony, that later on the county ends up maintaining that bridge? If they make it a if if we made it a county road, but because you're the lead agency and it's on the tip and there's a bridge no, identification no, so number, I don't want to get to where we said, oh, well, there's one variation if it's town road, same thing. Because the length of the bridge is not. No, this is going to be if it right becomes now, a town bridge, if it becomes right a town road or a county road, that's not what I'm asking. It would become the county. That's why I understand. Okay. Right now it's not. I just didn't want some by default. No. The county now maintains it because we were so in bed with it. To start with, as lead agent, and what's a bridge identification? It's not bid. It's a bid. bid. It's a bid. bid. Yeah. And there is a bid on it. So I've heard before because there's a bid, it's ours. No, I've no, heard that. The resolution before. that was passed back in long time ago says that um, in 1979, 
that bridges on town highway systems with spans of 25 feet or more become county bridges. So if it became a town or county highway, then because of this resolution. And it would not become a town or county highway unless we, unless of that, the town could make it. Could make it. The town could make it. But it would take a full vote of the board and make it a town. Right. But in Our order for a town to take it, you're talking two towns. Town of Kingsbury. No, it's only in one town. Yeah, I think this is only in one town. It's only in Kingsbury. The road spans two towns, but one town can take their chunk of it. It's like if Fort Edward takes their end of the road, it wouldn't take the bridge. The bridge would still own that portion of the road on September 30th. Okay. <laughs> and the other danger we have, right, the other danger is that whenever the useful life of this bridge is up, we'll all not, oh, certainly won't be here. <laughs> um, <laughs> for, you know, there will be who did the project the last time in the county, and then we'll have to have this discussion again. Because the easy thing would be to say, oh, well, we, you're right. didn't the county do it? We won't have to have this discussion again. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be here, this who was the only one down the road. 30 years. Right, but <laughs> so the manager of the idea is going to be making so much money on it over there that it's just going to be the last one. That's a good process. <laughs> but it'll need to be replaced at some point. And then when you go back and look at how did it get replaced last time, the county did. So it would be easy. Everybody who doesn't go back and actually read the resolution still has a Campbell Highway built the other way. Maybe it's just a Brian Highway. Of course, the, the danger lies on the right. There's naming rights there. Well, yeah, Campbell Highway in the old Brian Highway. It's totally different. He's got to have some idea, so he just takes mine. Yeah, so that's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, anyway, I hope Save the Hudson doesn't hear so, that comment. All in favor say aye. We need a motion for the county to be the lead agent on this bridge project. Yes. Fine. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You could just say the IDA bridge project or to have a number or a gateway. I don't know the big number off the top of my head. I mean, so but so I think it's anyway, right? We'll get into the resolution. Some of it. Move by Matt and the second. Case coming. Any more discussion from anyone? I feel $1.2 million is more favorable to us. One point two two seven. <laughs> <laughs> you can be bought. It was just one price, right? <laughs> <laughs> Right. The, the one thing I want to say is it's about time we all pulled in the same direction and work for the betterment of the county. And I think it's a great thing. Uh, you, you're new to seeing us in action, Chuck. It's not always pretty, but we usually get there. <laughs> Thanks so much for attending. Absolutely. You go to work. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. Is there any other others that we've missed? You're sure of it, so that, that makes me feel better. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you at ACC tomorrow. We're adjourned. <laughs>